including a familiar face, the one-time Maverick, Steve Nash, now the leader of the Suns, the NBA's most valuable player of the past two years since coming over to Phoenix. Nash, played by Harris. Here is Diaw. You know, it's a different situation. The game is tied at eight, and again, Suns quickly to the front court. Here's Thomas for three. Yes. You see Dan Pierce back in the lane. Kevin Harris able to hit. And the Suns lead by one. Thomas again for three. Tim Thomas with his second from downtown. Floating pass intended for Adrian Griffin, who just came on. It leads to this. There's nobody faster in the NBA on the wing than Sean Marion, and that's the problem. After two subpar shooting games against San Antonio, Nash posting, played well by Terry, cut the roll, it counts in the foul, the foul on Jason Terry. Remember now, he was a great soccer player, so that's where all that footwork comes. Remember Elijah Juan, his footwork, a lot of that goes back to being a great soccer player. Steve Bash, 92% at the line during the regular season to lead the NBA. Scoreless from the field, and there's three turnovers. Greg, you mentioned Dan D'Antoni, that's uh, the brother of Mike D'Antoni, very successful high school coach as Steve Nash knocks it down. Phoenix lead is now two. Nash improvising, went to the left hand with a little flip shot. Studio crew on site here at American Airlines Center in Dallas. Nash, yes. You know what got him going, Doug? The, the switch a couple of possessions ago. Nitsky putting the move on Marion. Marion got a piece of it. There's Nash straight down the lane. He does that so well, using the offhand after going off the wrong foot. Suns 47, Mavericks 44, five minutes left, first half. There's Thomas, he stuffs a facial by Tim Thomas. But Dallas got back. They're doing a much better job of that now in the second quarter. Remember the first quarter, we saw about four different runouts as Nash drains the 15-footer, but they're starting to figure out what they have to do. Does it off the dribble. There's Nash right back, getting down deep, and <laughs> scores! He took Harris down low. He had him where he wanted him. Weren't we just talking about the left hand? That's the torture chamber. That's the Steve Nash torture chamber down there. Well, that's going to lead to a wide open shot here probably a three because when you get yourself out of position you're playing four on five he now goes to the jump hook there you go on the back top scooped up by nash marion beautifully done he can blow by pretty much uh pretty much everybody in this league and he, he's got a, a great vision you know always looking for for his teammates uh but he's got that little floater, little runners in the lane. He's got a great three-point shot. So, I mean, there's really nothing to court uh, for his athleticism and his size that he, he can't do. But Dan Pierce started. Not start the second half. Johnson going to the smaller lineup. Nice move. It counts in the foul. Diaw, two and a half minutes gone by in this third quarter. Nash, Diaw, good hands, and he stuffs. What a play by Barnes, Diaw. Diaw picks it back out and Nash resets. Here's Nash. <laughs> oh, what a move by Steve Nash around Dirk Nowitzki. It has been a track meet from the start. Nash to Marion. Beautiful lob. Bell up into the flood to Nash. Here's Thomas ahead of the field. And he was looking for contact, claiming that he got hit in the head. Looked like he slid over and he was in perfect position for that charge. And we have further word on the status of Roger Bell. Let's go to Craig. Roger Bell has been diagnosed with a left calf muscle strain. Phoenix just won for its last seven. Nash for three. Steve Nash with a big bucket to bring the Suns within four. At one point, Phoenix led by as many as eight. Dallas is led by as many as nine. Nash again, guarded by the seven-footer, Nowitzki. Nash with the step, 
fires one high off glass. He had no angle. <laughs> it's a four-point game with a minute ten remaining. Nash for three. Yes! The lead is down to one. And Steve Nash, who had been quiet, has scored the last ten points for the Suns. He has 27 points, 15 assists. Look who's guarding Steve Nash now. They put Marquise Daniels on him, the longer, bigger player. Now, Dial being covered by Griffin, so Dallas does not want to get caught with that switch. Here's the lead. Marion from Nash, and the Suns lead by one, and the Mavs lead by one. Here's the inbounds. Dial puts the move on Stockhouse and scores with five tenths of a second left. And a timeout called by the Mavericks. And the Phoenix Suns come away with a victory here in Dallas in game number one of this Western Conference final series.